Stefan Schraff, Manager of Public and Government Affairs Europe for Bayer Crop Science. It's going to be very difficult for Europe to feed itself as the population grows, and indeed for the rest of the world to feed itself too. Nine billion people predicted by 2020. How big a role within that sphere does, uh, if you like, the, the, the chemistry of agriculture play? Um, from, well, first of all, I, I fully agree with your, with your assumption that um, Europe plays an important role in producing food, not just for its own citizens, but definitely also beyond that for, 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 um, for the entire world, actually. Uh, and whatever we do here in Europe, also from a regulatory point of view, of course, has play, uh, great impercussions uh, on other countries um, where, where the food is produced, which is then also imported uh, to Europe, uh, just mentioning uh, the MRL, MRL issues, for example. Uh, so we definitely have to acknowledge that. Um, if we come to the crop protection side, um, uh, of course this is, is still a, a key pillar of, uh, of our business um, and it will remain to be that in the future even with GMO technology possibly um, moving into Europe. Uh, we, we, we have seen the latest developments with uh, Amphora being uh, authorized in Europe still to be to be to remain to be seen whether that's going to be a, a, um, a development a more consistent development now uh, mr. Dali has uh, has um, mentioned uh, that he would like to uh, to move forward now and that he doesn't see any uh, uh, let's say new science uh, at the moment that uh, ESSA has done several evaluations uh, on many of the uh, of the GMOs which are in in the pipeline and hasn't c come up with any uh, uh, negative impacts there. So just from a science uh, scientific point of, of view, from a scientific basis, um, further authorizations even for cultivation could follow in the future. But of course, that remains to be seen whether we really uh, will go down that that path. Crop protection science, though, is, has been a controversial issue. The the EU managed to ban a, a large number of uh, crop protection products that were already in use, which presumably has presented the industry with a problem of having to come up with new products that work. I, mean, I know that the Irish were especially worried because of the, the ban on a, a, a product that was used to, to control potato blight. Yes, absolutely. We have uh, just gone uh, through a, a major revision at the European uh, level, at the EU level, uh, regarding the authorization uh, and then also the use of, of plant protection products and indeed you're right uh, we have seen a shift uh, a systematic shift in the authorization scheme at the EU level because the uh, the, the scheme has actually moved now to in parts at least to a hazard based approach uh, and that is of concern to us uh, absolutely uh, we still think that uh, uh, also on the crop protection side any authorization should be based on science uh, and on risk assessment, so taking into account uh, the, the actual exposure, the, the, the probability of a, of a, of a risk really um, um, emerging, uh, of, um, of, of becoming uh, relevant. Uh, that side has to be taken into account from our point of view. In that sense, we, we have not been happy with the, with the development. Um, and um, that will definitely lead to, to losses of some substances uh, in, in the future. Um, I think this is also why the farming community um, was quite concerned uh, throughout that um, uh, legislative process um, uh, that we would lose important substances. You've already mentioned potato blight, substances to treat potato blight as, as, as one of the main concerns. Um, I mean, a lot will also depend now on the implementation of the new legislation and uh, we hope uh, that uh, stakeholders, commission, industry will work together uh, to, to implement uh, the new uh, regulation in, in, a, in a sensible way. There, there are those, I mean, you mentioned that, that a lot of this technology, a lot of these rules are now based on hazard rather than actual science. Isn't this partly because, if, if you like, emotion takes over here and, and people, uh, legislators, bow to popular public pressure and indeed to the media to a certain extent and don't listen to the scientists because they think that the scientists have a vested interest? Um, 
I mean, we're talking of issues which, of course, are very scientific here. And I can understand that uh, the general public sometimes sees a f has a fear here because um, um, maybe also we in the past have not explained well enough uh, how, how this technology works. So I think we, we ourselves can improve that still. Uh, but indeed, you're right, I think uh, to some extent the decisions uh, uh, were by, based on, on, non on a non-scientific basis and uh, we would wish that we would come back to a more science-based decision-making process in the European Union and actually uh, the, um, the fact that Mr. Barroso has uh, um, uh, announced that he would appoint the chief scientific advisor to the European Commission is I think a, a very positive step in that direction. Presumably replacing those things that are taken off the market for, uh, for various reasons by the EU. It takes time, doesn't it? It's not just a case of developing the actual product. Uh, it's also doing all of the risk assessments and checking that it, it works without affecting other things. It takes years. That's uh, correct. I mean, if you just if you consider that it takes about 250 studies uh, to do an author, just to get the authorization done, but then, of course, all the R&D, which, uh, which comes before that, um, the, uh, it, it usually takes between 8 and 10 years uh, to get a new plant protection product to, to market uh, and the investment costs are, are considerable between 200 and 250 million euros so absolutely I mean if, uh, uh, if industry is asked to come forward with new solutions we, we need time to develop those this is what will not be done within uh, 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 just a few years.